first cut or the tent. Should I do it? Okay. Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. Today we are going to sew the canvas on the tent and I hope you enjoy this video. If you notice, my mom is in town and she is the one, let's just admit, she's the one that actually sewed it. I did not, I was just the hand helper, you know, and, and my daughters got involved too. So I hope you enjoy this and she does give you some tips and you can kind of see what of our thought process was. And then I end the video um, after my mom leaves and I am debating on what to do and and how is it going to work? And again, I have recorded this before I've gone up in the mountains. So the majority of this was recorded before I went up in the mountains. So I want to invite you to check out those videos of me staying in this tent. It was a fun adventure and the adventure will still continue until I put up my canvas tent, which is my summer tent that you got to see that one because that one is amazing. So this is part three of my four part series of building the tent. Um, just want to make sure that you're aware of that so you can get all the parts from building the frame to designing the design on the outside to putting up the or sewing together the canvas, which is this one. And then the next one will be putting it up on the land. Um, another thing that I want to mention is that I am selling shirts. If you are interested, you don't have to buy a Viking shirt. I actually have one with just my, my paw print logo on it. In fact, I added a little paw print logo on there um, because I, I forgot that. But anyways, <laughs> uh, go ahead and buy yourself a Viking shirt. I am trying to raise $500 for Wilderness on Wheels, which is the charity that I feature on my channel. And a lot of the proceeds um, goes to them. So if you haven't bought your spirit for a shirt um, go ahead and do that i have a lot of designs on my website which is spiritforestbear.com so let's get started and my mom can show you her sewing powers the first video in this series we were building the frame of the viking tent in this video we will be building the canvas we first start at the top where my mom did a double layer at the top she felt that this is where the weather will most likely be hit and so she wanted to add an extra layer of protection and did a double layer of canvas at the top. The second layer, or the second section in this case, is only a single layer. And she talks about how she sewed this layer, or this section, onto this section. And then we continue with the doors. And then I added some little hooks down at the bottom so that I could secure it to the side two by fours. We then needed to add the area for the stove to come out of, then added the stove pipes, and the end result should look like this as I'm sitting in my tent in the winter time, nice and cozy. I decided to change my shirt so I had more spirit for a spirit. I'm overlapping this seam an inch and a quarter and we will sew dual flat seams or flat stitching, straight stitching together and then we will fold it and do another stitching so the seam is more sealed.
We've done a double seam on the, the fl two flat sides together. Now to make a French seam, we're folding that in. So all the exposed stitching is now hidden and it's a double seam. Plus you can see that it goes downwards. This will be on the top of the side of the tent that goes down and you'll be able to uh, know that you're not gonna have water sit in here and it won't rot because everything will flow off of it. And this will be done the full length of this seam that we just did the double inside seam. And are we gonna do another double? We're gonna do another double on top. Okay. all the way off the end. Perfect. Ta-da! Why do I need that much underneath? Like, I don't because, think I do. Well, it'll stop, I, we could wind, just top. it'll stop the wind from going under it. It'll seal your tent a little bit better. It's not going to be tightly sealed because the ends aren't going to have it. The ends will be open underneath. there'll be a double fold there. You yeah. understand? Yep. Okay. So it's thicker? Well, it's so it's going through two things of fabric. It'll keep them strong, make them stronger. Okay. Because all the pressure's not going on just the outer one.
announced I am doing some last minute changes and touches to the tent before I bring it up to the mountains. This is really one of the only weekends I can bring it up where I'm having help from other people to help me um, bring it up and I want to test it so I want to make sure I have all the pieces that I need um, when I'm up there I am I have a little bit of concern because this is the first time the whole tent has been up now my backyard is really small in fact this is pretty much my entire backyard so it's a really small backyard and it barely fits so it's really hard for me to move around the tent and and work on stuff but I did notice that we have left some, some stuff too um, off that we were supposed to sew on the tent um, not a big deal it's just we were running out of time uh, my mom was only here for just a, a bit of time to, to work on the tent and we just weren't able to get it all done um, she has some pretty nice sewing machines my sewing machine here um, will not be able to cut through the the fabric like uh, my mom's is so I'm gonna have to go to I don't know I gotta go somewhere and I need to find some safety pins because now we're sewing my style <laughs> I'm gonna put some safety pins on there and check it out. So, they also show you the problem. Here, Rocky wants his ball. There you go, buddy. Or his ball. Um, you see, the problem here is that it sags right here. I was supposed to have some more ties so I could tie it around um, this area so it would bring the tent up. Um, so what I need to do is I need to go find some some really large um, thick safety pins because that's how I sew again and uh, get this thing up so that way I can tie it on now one of the issues that I wasn't really thinking about because it's been a while since I've been back at my land but most of my gear is on my um, on my land so all of my paracord is there um, I have a little bit of paracord here but not much so I was able to tie down some of the sides but not all the sides oh I didn't want to do this I didn't want to put up the tent the first time um, at the land but I think that that's what's gonna happen I'm gonna go grab my stove I'm gonna stick my stove in there because actually it's it seems like to me and I could be wrong but it seems like to me that the pipe is in the wrong spot as well so I need to oh so much to do and I have like three days to get this done and I still have to stain some more and it's supposed to snow so today's a really good day um, I'm on my lunch hour right now and I'm just trying to get this thing done and I wanted to bring you guys along so you can be part of this journey as I'm trying to figure out how to put this tent up So I think I'm going to, I don't even know yet, but I think I recorded this video backwards. So I think you guys might have already seen me either stay the night at the tent or seen the tent up already on the land. So um, I hope it went well. <laughs> I hope it keeps me warm because it has been like 10 degrees, negative degrees up there. Um, and I'm hoping that this, this idea that I have will keep me warm. Um, and this stove um, which I know I'm gonna do a whole video or if I haven't done a whole video on this little tiny stove that I really like um, I think I'm gonna give it a little name or something <laughs> it's so cute um, I hope this stove keeps me warm because that's really the whole that's what this is all built around is is basically this stove and uh, just keeping me warm and um, I hope that it doesn't sag too much so that's one of my concerns is that the tent's gonna sag too much um, I do have a cot that I'm gonna bring in here but I don't know if I'm gonna do that the first time spending the night in there I don't know we'll see you guys already know <laughs> I don't know like I have all these things in my head I'm like and I've been watching the weather and it is crazy up there and there's snow all over so um, Hopefully, uh, I gotta get a snow shovel for up there too. I got so much stuff to do just to prepare for this. And it's ski season and the ski resort's already opened and I'm really excited about that, which means they opened really early. Um, so this video actually probably not gonna post till really late, but I'm hoping that I can 
go in the tent, bring all my ski gear, and then go skiing and come back to the tent. That's kind of my goal for the winter time. Okay, so um, I've learned a couple things just by putting the stove in here. I'm learning that I really want to, I need to put together these pieces and just keep them on the land. I, I think I'm gonna bring the stove home every time. I'm not too sure. Do you hear my kids in the background? They're all laughing. <laughs> oh goodness, I don't know if they're gonna be spending the night in the tent. I would say probably not. This is more my adventure, not theirs. They don't like the cold. Um, so this is this is more my thing and I'm really excited. I, oh, I said I had a cot. That's what I have, a cot. I think I might bring a cot with me. I got a lot of blankets. I got a new sleeping bag. I got all this new stuff just for this adventure. I gotta figure out what my ground cover is gonna be. Um, I was thinking maybe I go to Home Depot and grab some like, they have like really cheap carpet or something. And maybe I do like half of it in this like carpet area. The thing is, is that the air um, from underneath the deck, cause I'm putting this on the deck, the air from underneath the deck comes up through. So, oh, so much to do. And I have three days to do it. So let me give you, before I end this video, I'm just gonna give you just a quick little tour around my tent so you can kind of see what my worries and concerns are with the tent. And uh, I don't know, maybe I've kind of figured some of them out already. I don't know, it's kind of weird because this video is posting after I've already stayed in the tent. So, well, if you have any other ideas and I haven't figured it out by now, um, let me know because I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So let me show you the tent. So you can see it takes up my whole backyard. Um, and the stove should go above the tent. So it should, with all the pipes on it, it should go above where the tent is at. So I shouldn't have any problems with that. Um, I don't have my paracord here, so I do have to tie them the, like the way it is. So I'm really, really, really concerned about how the tent dips down. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie some paracord. You guys probably already saw it, but I'm going to tie paracord across um, in an X pattern, possibly um, down across this way too, just to keep it so it doesn't uh, droop like that as much. It is my bigger concern and it was my concern when it decided to do such a large tent because I do know that canvas is is pretty big or pretty heavy it's a heavy canvas okay you can see here I tied in the, the spots but I've missed a few so I do have them um, spaced pretty close together so it's gonna be pretty well tied on there I'm actually debating on putting some little uh, what are they called? The the little silver drummits or whatever? I don't know. Something where you can just screw in and you can tie it to that. That might be faster when I put it up. Okay, this is how, this is what's hard to get in. I have this one spot. And then I got to put my leg all the way up and around. And then crawl. <laughs> So let me show you. you. Guys have seen inside the tent. It should be able to sleep two people in here without a problem. It, probably even more than that, but I don't know if I can convince anyone else to come. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone else is gonna be spending the night in this tent but myself. Okay, so you guys have seen the design that I put on the tent. Um, really, really like it. Um, and in fact, if I made it the other way, cause people walk right there, if I made it the other way, I'd probably get a lot of responses. But um, there's the there's the design, and again, it's tied on. My concern is that we didn't create loops, which I was intending to, but I just forgot to remind my mom that I wanted some loops over here, so that way we can tie it on. So I'm going to have to figure something out, and I think safety pins is just going to be the key for that right now. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update so you can see the before and, and the, some of the worries that I had regarding the tent. 
and um, I'm taking it up there this weekend. I won't be spending the night up there, but I'll be taking it up there this weekend. And then uh, the following weekend, I will be spending the night in it and testing it out. So um, maybe I'll see you guys there. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.